I'm Samantha and I'm Vincent and we are so excited you could join us for Adventure Week 2020. Well this year might look a little different than how we've held Adventure Week in the past. Yeah, we're online this year. We are still totally excited to spend this week with you guys and go on an adventure like no other. This year's theme is focus and every day we're going to get started by playing a little game. Here's how it goes. Each day we are traveling somewhere new and you guys have to guess our location. And it's not going to be easy because we're only going to give you a tiny glimpse of where we're going. You have to focus to guess our location. Sounds like fun. Let's play. Okay, I'll give you just a peek. Oh yeah, that's, that's hard. Can you show us a little bit more? <laughs> sure thing. Focus. I mean, I can't make it out. How about we get our focus glasses out? Oh, great idea. Make two C's with your hands and hold them up to your eyes like this. Great job, everybody. Okay, let's just see a touch more. Is it, uh, is it? Any guesses? If you said the farm, then you're correct. Awesome. But how do we get there? Okay, everyone focus, focus. And on the count of three, I want you to yell focus as loud as you can and spin around. Ready? One, two, three, focus! focus. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome! Nice hat. Howdy y'all, welcome to Preston Trail Farms. Look at all the animals. Look at all the goats and the chickens and the cows. <laughs> Those are cool, but longhorns are my favorite. I even heard that no two longhorns are exactly alike. What? No way. It's true, really. All longhorns have the exact same horn length. Don't believe me? Let's see if we can find someone who knows stuff. Hey there, Farmer Evans. Thanks for being with us. Howdy. My pleasure. I always like to tell people about the amazing animals we have here at Preston Trail Farms. Hopefully, you can help me and Samantha out. We're having a little bit of an argument. Maybe you can help us out. Vincent here seems to think that all longhorns have the same size and the same shaped horns technically not the truth. Tax here, one of our longhorns, has longer and more flat horns, while Max here has more stout and shorter horns. So just like people, longhorns are unique and special. Thanks, Farmer Evan, for your help. My pleasure. Don't just check out the longhorns, though. Go back there and check out the goats and sheep. See ya. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Farmer Evan. He's trying to run. Yeehaw! God made so many different animals. He sure did, but that's not all he made. God made the light and the dark. He made the sky and the seas and the dry land. That's right. God also made the sun, the moon, and all the stars. He also made all the plants and trees. He also made all the creatures that swim in the sea and fly in the sky. He made all the animals that live on earth. And God also made humans in his own image. That means he also made you and me. And do you know what God did after he made all those amazing things? He rested. Kind of like Max over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's creation. And that's our focus for today. God is so good. Yes, he is. So let's praise him. Get on your feet and welcome the Prestonwood Adventure Week Jump Team. Hey guys, we are your Adventure Week 2020 Jump Team. We are so excited you are here. We're going to be singing this song all week long. So let's focus and worship. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us Where I'm going, knowing you go there too 
you I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I fix my eyes on you You are my only focus You are my only focus You are my only focus I fix my eyes on you on you this is my faith this is my focus all of my days i know where my hope is i live it loud i shout the chorus because i know oh you're always for us and even when it's hard for me to see to see i will trust in you i will believe and even when it's hard for me to see to see i will trust in you i will believe and keep on looking 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 to you for where i'm going knowing you go there too i'll keep on looking 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 to you fix my eyes on you you are my own Y'all ready? Here we go. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. I know you're there. I know you're there. Any, any, anywhere. Oh. Any, any, anywhere. I fix my eyes on you, on you. What's up, everybody? My name is Brian Drake. I'm an illusionist all the way from Mobile, Alabama, but we travel all over the world doing these crazy illusions. So this week's a little bit different. We're going to get inside of your head right through this camera. So we're going to do some things together, some different tricks. I'm going to amaze you, blow your mind, and also kind of introduce what we're going to be talking about as we focus this week. So today, we're going to try an illusion right now. Right on the screen, you're going to see some small miniature Funkos on the screen, some guy ones and some girl ones. The guy ones have a blue background, girl ones have a pink background. Here's the rule though. If you need to go off the screen, don't go off the screen. If you can't go left because the screen is there, go to the right. If you can't go to the right, go back to the left. You can't wrap around like Pac-Man. So here's what I want you to do. Hold your finger up and point it to any of the guys, any of them, right? It could be Captain America, Thor, it could be Thanos. Point at those, keep your finger straight at it. Now, I want you to move left or right to the nearest girl character. We got one? Now, I want you to go up or down to the nearest guy character. Now, once you got it, I want you to go diagonally to the nearest female character. So diagonally, like this, or like this. Once you've got it, we're gonna go one more move. I want you to move left or right, whichever way you can, to the nearest male character. You got one locked in? Don't tell anybody who yours is, but I feel like, at the end of the day, you're all thinking about Captain America right there. Only the best, he's fantastic. So. We're going to get inside of your head this week. Let's dive into our topic for today. So close, so close to being complete with this hospital. Sometimes it can be frustrating building those things, right? Somebody made everything that's around us. We know that somebody is God. It didn't just happen by accident. Things didn't, that didn't exist previously didn't just pop into existence on their own because that's impossible. Everything that's been created has to have a creator, but God doesn't need anybody. He's self-sufficient. That's a huge word, but it means that God is in his nature, just always has existed and doesn't need anything. 
How powerful of a being is that, right? God existed before time. It's a weird concept to even think about. Before there was anything. And here's the best part. He spoke it, willed it into existence. Just poof! And there was the universe. God made it. See, when God created, it wasn't like he took existing pieces from some other puzzle and turned them into something. No, when God created, it was so much cooler. How powerful is that? How amazing is that? And guess what? Like we're going to talk about this week. That same God who is so powerful that he set those planets and those gravitational forces just so perfectly that we can know that God, that that God isn't just some far off force way in the distance like Star Wars and we're trying to get to him, that that God can live inside of us and give us eternal life and that we can communicate with that God and we can talk with that God. And these are all the things we're going to be talking about this week. So I'm super excited to be hanging out with y'all this week at Focus. But think about that for a minute. When you go out tonight and look in those stars and see how many thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away those stars are, there's a God who is so powerful that yes, he made those stars and scattered them across the sky, but he made every single hair on your head and cares and knows for every single one of them. That's powerful. Now let's focus on God's word. Hey, I think we should get our focus glasses back on. <laughs> Great idea. You guys know what to do. Make two seats with your hands and put them over your eyes. Now look at the screen. Focus, focus. There it is. Ha, check out our memory verse for Adventure Week 2020. Let's read it together. Hebrews 12, two, let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith and he's the one who completes the journey of faith. What an awesome verse. Let's try to have it memorized by the end of the week. <laughs> Are y'all ready for more? Great, but for this part, we're gonna need you to do more than just listen. If you have a Bible, grab it, along with a pen and some paper. You might wanna take some notes. Plus, we're gonna reveal a secret keyword. All you have to do is focus and write it down. It'll be in the bottom right hand of your screen. Then when you go to your small groups, you can share your secret keyword with your leader and automatically be registered for a super cool prize. Let's put our hands together and welcome Hannah as we dive deeper into God's word and creation. Hey everyone, welcome to Adventure Week Day One. We are so excited that you're with us as we talk today about creation. There are lots of things that we can see that can help us figure out what we can't see. When we really focus on something, we can find out things that we never even noticed before. That's exactly how it is in our relationship with God. I mean, there are some basic things that we know that are true about God. We know that God made us because we're here and we're breathing in and out, but we can't see God. So how can we focus on Him? How can we get to know Him better? How can we be sure that His way is the very best way to live? We can start by taking a closer look at what he has made. The Apostle Paul wrote about that in his letter to the Romans. Paul wasn't one of the original 12 disciples or friends of Jesus, but he had an amazing encounter with Jesus that changed his life forever. Paul ended up starting churches and he traveled around to encourage people everywhere who believe that Jesus is God's son. He wrote letters to encourage people too. Many of those letters ended up in the books in the Bible. In fact, Paul wrote more books in the New Testament than anyone else. Now is the time that you need to go get your Bible and turn to Romans chapter 1. If you need to pause the video and go get your Bible and find the scripture, you can do so now. Remember that you can use the table of contents in the very front of your Bible to find it. Let's look at these words Paul wrote in Romans chapter 1. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities... His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. Paul was basically saying, do you want to know how big and powerful God is? Look around. You can see how amazing God is when you see the things that he has made. Actually, did you know that God created the earth and everything in it in six days? He did. On day one, he created light and dark and he called it night and day. 
On day two, he created the water and the sky. On day three, he created the dry land and the plants. On day four, he created the sun and the moon and the stars. On day five, he created the creatures of the sea and the flying creatures. On day six, he created the animals of the land and people. It's pretty crazy to think about how powerful that he is, that he could create the whole world. When you are outside in creation, do you ever think about how powerful he is? Put your hand above your eyes like you're looking into the distance. How about when you wake up early in the morning and you see the beautiful sunrise? When you see the sky turn different colors and you feel the warmth of the sun shine on your face, it's amazing. It's magnificent. It's incredible when you experience something like that. It reminds you that God is the one who creates each new day. God created the oceans and the mountains. He created the animals like the baby bunnies and whale sharks and tarantulas. And of course, God made people. God made me and he made you. He made your family and your friends. God created all of the people in the world that you know and all the people in the world that you haven't even met. Let's read what the Bible says about what God said about creating people. Get your Bibles and turn to Genesis chapter one. When you got it, say got it. We are going to read Genesis chapter one, verse 27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Wow, he made each of us unique, but in his image. Let's go on to read what verse 31 says. It says, God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Not only did God create you, he also loves you. He loves every single person that he has made, including you and me. When we look around, there's a lot that we can see that reminds us who God is. What if we take an even bigger view with my telescope? Yikes, sorry about that. Let me get that into focus. Ah, that's much better. With the very best telescopes and equipment, we can see all the way into space. We can get a small glimpse of the vast, majestic universe God created. We can see the beauty of a massive cloud of gas and dust called a nebula, or stare into the depths of a mysterious black hole. When we start to explore the far reaches of space, it can make us feel really small. But then we remember that the same God who made us and loves us created all of it. He is so big and so powerful that he designed the entire universe. And we've only just begun to understand even a tiny part of it. God's creation is bigger than we can ever imagine, but it's even smaller than we can imagine too. You see, God cares about the details. Check this out. Oops, I forgot to focus, hold on. Can you guess what this is? It's the human tongue. Crazy, right? Have you ever thought about how amazing it is that God created your tongue with thousands of taste buds? What if you couldn't taste anything and eating was just something you had to do? Isn't it cool that God gave you a tongue so you can actually enjoy the taste of ice cream? or cookie cake, and even broccoli. Oh, that's a no on the broccoli. Well, what about this one? Any idea what this is? It's a tooth. Look at how detailed it is. What would you do without your teeth? Actually, a lot of you probably can relate to that. Raise your hand if you've ever lost a tooth. Raise your hand if you've got a loose one right now. Awesome. It's pretty cool that God gives us not just one, but two sets of teeth. That way we have a set to practice with first. Then we get a brand new set that fits our jaws as we get older. Take care of your teeth, kids. Make sure you're brushing them. All right, one more. How about this? Do you know what this is? It's a close-up view of human hair. Fun fact, Jesus once said that God counts every hair on your head in Luke 12, seven. In other words, God knows exactly how many hairs are on your head. He made you completely unique. He knows everything about you. 
He cares about all the little details of your life and God knows what you need. He knows what makes you happy. He knows what makes you sad. He knows exactly what you're going through right now, even if no one else does. And through it all, He loves you more than you'll ever know. Remember what Paul said in that verse that we looked at earlier? He said that we can see how good God is when we see what God has made. Put your hand over your eyes like you're looking into the distance. We can look at the world around us and see the amazing things that God created, like nature, animals, and the people that we love. Look into the telescope. We can look at the vastness of the universe and remember that our big, powerful God is in control of all of it. Look into the microscope. We can look at the smallest details of God's creation and remember that He cares about everything that's going on in our lives. If you want to learn more about God, if you want to grow in your relationship with Him, stop and take a closer look. Our bottom line for today is focus on what you can see. When your world seems blurry, when something happens that makes you feel frustrated or confused, remember, God created you for a purpose. He created you in His image. And when you choose to focus on Him, you can point others to Him. Just like a beautiful sunrise or a nebula or a crazy close-up image from a microscope, when you do that, people will see your faith. They'll see the way that you believe in God. Even when life doesn't make sense, they'll see how they can believe in God too and how they can trust in a God that they can't see because of what they can see. You and I can have a personal relationship with Jesus. Actually, He desires to have a personal relationship with you. He desires to know you better and for you to know Him better, for you to learn to love Him more than anyone else. And so you can have that personal relationship by following Him. And when you're like, what does it look like to follow Him? Well, it's easy as ABC. We first, we have to A, we have to admit. We have to admit that we are a sinner. Maybe you don't know what sin is. Sin is when we disobey God, when we do something that we shouldn't do. Maybe you disobey your parents or you tell a lie or you do things that are not good. That is sin. And so first we have to admit that we are a sinner. We are all sinners. We have all done things that do not honor God, that disobey Him and go against Him. The Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. And so we are all sinners, your mom, your dad, everyone around you. So we first have to admit. The second one is B. B, we have to believe that Jesus is God's son, that he came to earth, that he lived among people, that he performed many miracles, that he died in place for our sins, that he died and then he rose again three days later. See, the Bible tells us in Romans 6, 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life. And so you and I, for our sin, we deserve to die. We deserve to die a death separated from God forever. But God loved you and I so much that He did not want us to have to die that death. He sent Jesus in our place to die the death that we should have had to die for our sin. And so we have to believe, truly believe in our hearts that Jesus came and that He did that for us. And then C, we have to confess. We have to say, God, you know what? I have messed up. I am a sinner. And God, I need you to forgive me of my sin. I need you to come into my life and I need you to save me because I want to follow you. I want to give my life to you. If you want to learn more about what it looks like to follow Jesus and have a relationship with him, talk to your mom or dad or your small group leader or anyone at your church. They would love to show you more about what that looks like. So it's been fun today. I hope you had fun too, but we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You are above every other. Your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know. I want my life to show just what your love has done for me. I'm free in your love, I'm forgiven, forgiven. Your love, it makes me sing. Your love, it gives me a reason to lift my voice, yeah. To lift my voice, yeah.
the children's minister here at Prestonwood and we are so glad you could join us for Adventure Week 2020 at home. We are having so much fun but it doesn't stop here. We want to connect you to a small group on Zoom and if you have already registered you should have received a text with a Zoom login information and password. If you have not registered there's still time. Just click the registration link below and we can get you plugged into a great group. Also, if you have a question about what it means to follow Jesus, oh, we would love to answer any of your questions. You can text the word HEART to 74788 and we will get in touch with you. Again, that number is 74788. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you tomorrow.